Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. In this video, we'll talk about some of the important features of class class. So we have a class called as class. This is a class here. So this class here has some prop some important feature. So one of the most important feature is let's say uh, I have a class here. So let's say class A. So so we have a class A here, uh, so it is blank now. What I need to check is, I want to know that this class A, so see, whenever you compile a Java file, it will create a, a file called as a.class. Now a.class can be a class or a.class can be an interface, right? Because even if you compile interface, it will give you .class file. So you have a .class file, now you want to know that that dot that class uh, that uh, dot class file is it a interface of the class? So for this scenario, what we can do is we can use a class class here. So we'll say c. Uh, we'll say a class dot for name. So we have a method called as for name here. In this for name, we just have to mention the class name, which is com dot navin dot a. So you have to mention the fully qualified class name with the package. So which is com dot navin dot a. Now, once you got the object of class here, so this class object C, it has a method. So let's print it. So it has a method called as is interface. So whenever you use is interface, uh, so if that class, if that A is an interface, it will print true. If that A is not an interface, which means it's a class, it will print false. So if you're on this application now, so if you say shift F6, it says it's, a, it's false. But what if, if I make this class as interface? Okay, so in, the, in this scenario, if you run this application, it says it is true. So this is interface will let you know that the current the file, which is dot class file, is it a class or interface? Do we have some other feature? So we have one more method here. So let me remove this interface here and let me write class. So that's your is interface, right? So we have one more, so we have lots of methods here. If you say C dot, so there are a list of methods. Now, one of the important methods you can use here, we, can, we have something called as get super class. Now, so if, if you can see, A class is not extending any class here, right? But by default, every class in Java, they extends object class. So even if you don't write extends object, by default, it will extend object class. So if I remove this, and when I say C dot get superclass, it will give you the name of the superclass, which is object class here. And now if you run this, it, it says class Java lang, Java dot lang dot object. So it will give you the fully qualified class name. But let's say I have a class A, which extends, uh, let's say ABC. And what is ABC? ABC is a, is a class here. So we'll say ABC. Bracket open close. So nothing is defined there. It's just a blank class. ABC, oh, it's already there. Uh, we'll say B. And this will extend class B. Okay, so class A here extends class B. And now if you run this application, so instead of getting object, we'll get class B. Again, fully, fully codified, which is com.nevin.b. So those are the two methods you can use of uh, class class. So we have one more methods here, uh, like it uh, this get declare field. It will give you all the field names. Get declare methods. It will give you all the method names, and you have lots of methods. It will also give you all the interfaces, modifiers. So there are lots of things available when you talk about this uh, class class. So basically, we can use it for debugging or to know the. Uh, to know more, more about your class, so you can use this class class. Okay, so I hope this uh, video have uh, helped you. So uh, thanks for watching this video and do subscribe for further videos.